Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of my newly reimagined Lightroom in a Snap series. The steps I'll be showing in this episode are available in both computer versions of Lightroom, although they are a little different from one to the other. But don't worry, I'll show you how to set things up in both. If you're not familiar with the differences between the two Lightroom apps, be sure to check out my blog post where I cover all the pros and cons of each version and provide some recommendations to help you decide which is the best for you. Now, in the prior episode, I showed you how to customize the order of your develop panels in Lightroom Classic so you can have them laid out to match your workflow. That's all well and good, but if you've ever found yourself frustrated by scrolling up and down looking for a specific panel and often scrolling past it accidentally, this little trick is for you. In Lightroom Classic, simply right-click any of the develop panel headers, except for the histogram, that won't work, and select solo mode. You'll notice that as soon as you do so, all the panels except one collapse down. This allows you to move from section to section without scrolling excessively up and down. As you move from one section to another, the previous panel you were working in automatically closes when the next one you select expands. This ensures you can always see all the panels at once with no need to scroll. Even better, you can enable solo mode everywhere in Lightroom Classic. The editing panels in Develop, or the left-hand panels for history, collections, etc., or even within the library module. Simply right-click on any of those headers and select solo mode to turn it on. Now, for those of you that are using the cloud-based Lightroom, Room app. The steps to enable solo mode are a little bit different, so let's jump over there. Here, instead of right-clicking on one of the panel headers over on the right when you're in the editing module, simply go up to the View menu, find the Edit Panels menu, and then click on Single Panel Mode. Now you can see over on the right all of those panels collapse down, and as I click on one or the other, they automatically open and close just like in Lightroom Classic. In the next episode, I'll be moving away from tips and tricks for the user interface and showing you how to take advantage of one of my favorite editing tools in Lightroom Classic, so stay tuned. And that's Lightroom in a snap.